My name is Roy Finlay and my intention is uh, next year to break the current transatlantic rowing record. Uh, we'll be crossing the 3,000 miles unsupported, in other words totally self-sufficient. Well, Orca was the, the first multi-hull to have been rowed across any ocean of the world and we have the Guinness World Record Certificate for that. And the multi-hull I learned is, uh, as in the sailing world, faster than a monohull, stable, uh, safer, I know is the ideal ocean world. Uh, so taking Orca across the Atlantic was, uh, she was a concept boat and gave rise to a number of scary nights, but uh, she made it. So the Monday I was out racing Orca last year, beat it by two days. But both boats spent three days in the sea and come motionless. And I think this is the moment where we can do better than that. We took uh, Le Monde Dial, uh, our big 14-man, uh, 20-year-old, uh, uh, five-ton boat uh, versus Orca, which was a four-man uh, boat, uh, state-of-the-art, um, lighter, uh, faster solution. Um, we got a little bit luckier uh, with the weather, and uh, so we, we won that particular race. Next race, uh, maybe Royal win, who knows? Uh, I was on the last uh, expedition with Levan, uh, where we rode from uh, Gran Canaria to Barbados. I mean, what motivates me personally is that I love the sea. Um, I love the fact that we're, uh, we're after a record that's 114 years uh, of age. So I have every confidence of, of going to sea with Levan. I would never go to sea with any other skipper. It's blatantly obvious what you've got to do to break records. You've got to go hard all the time, 24 hours a day. Not 23 and a half, 24 hours a day. And to get people to do that, sometimes you have to not be friends with them, you know? But we're not out there to make friends, we're out there to make records. What our selection process is about is stripping away uh, the mask that people wear. We, ne we need to get to know the core person underneath all the facade. We, we don't tend to take loud people because loud people uh, don't necessarily have confidence. Uh, the, the quiet, the strong, silent type, I guess, we're, we're after. We're after people who can uh, uh, take responsibility, not allocate blame. We're after people uh, who, can, who can operate under uh, extreme pressure. You know, it's, it's all very well uh, rowing in weather like uh, this, where it's, it's flat calm. When it gets a bit bumpy out, out there, um, as I say, things can go wrong very, very quickly. Um, it's not like you think that all of a sudden you're in the middle of a storm. It, it, it brews. You, you can feel it coming. You can feel it in your bones. You can see it in the sky. Uh, and you just know something bad is coming. And then you start getting nervous, twitch, and you start feeling bad and feeling a bit sick and how bad is this going to be. More people have been to space than have rowed the Atlantic Ocean. So that gives you an idea as to what it's all about. I'm John Mollison. I'm from Perth in Scotland. I'm here on Shelter Island um, because I intend to row from here to the island of Isla in Scotland, a distance of just over 3,500 miles. I think it's going to take somewhere between 80 and 100 days. I only have one leg. I, I lost my leg um, during the Falklands campaign in 1982. Um, I was, uh, unfortunately, I was silly enough to, to stand in a, an anti-personnel mine. Um, you know, anybody that knows anything about that, um, that kind of munitions, you lose your, you, you lose your foot and a, and a little bit more. The, rowing the Atlantic in particular, this world record, is something I've been after for uh, 10 years. Ocean rowing became similar to perhaps Edmund Hillary climbing Everest. It's a bit difficult to actually, to actually grasp the concept that there literally is nobody there to help. When we are mid-ocean, um, it's Firstly, it's uh, one of the few places on Earth where you can fully appreciate what silence actually means. Now, you can stop rowing on a flat, calm day, which, you know, happens, and there's nothing to be heard. Absolutely nothing. There are no birds, there are no aircraft, there are nothing. The world record, the speed record, that everybody wants um, is, from, that is the route that we're following, from the Canaries, West Africa to Barbados. That's the one, that's the big one. It's the Holy Grail. I've always liked uh, the competition, um, you know, I love racing Roy, I love racing Simon Chalk um, and, uh, you know, it's, it'll be a, a mouth-watering prospect uh, to get us, all three of us, in similar boats uh, racing across the Atlantic sooner or later. Of course, I'll be 
wearing harnesses um, they will be attached to the boat but um, there may be that occasion it could be a change of watch in the middle of the night where they forget to attach it and over they go and if somebody did go over the side it's very unlikely we'd get them back We can do everything right, everything, but the mother nature decides she's going to have you, she'll have you.